Good morning, treasurers. This is your host, Pathu Shah, co-founder of Night FinTech, and you are listening to Night Snippets. Here is all what you need to know before going into trade for 2nd November 2020 in the international market. In US, bond yields turned slightly higher after the Fed announced it has lowered the barriers on its lending program for smaller businesses. The central bank is reducing the minimum loan size to 100k from 250k and will ease restrictions on the debt for companies already participating in the Paycheck Protection Program. U.S. consumer spend, spending topped estimates for September. The Commerce Department said on Friday that spending rose 1.4% last month, while analysts forecast growth of 1%. Investors also digested better than expected third quarter GDP data from U.S. on Thursday. The country's GDP, which is gross domestic product, rose by 33.1% in the third quarter, higher than the expectation of 32% growth. The numbers are high due to the base effect. Meanwhile, in US, on last Thursday, marking a record 88,521 daily new cases, hospitalizations are also climbing in 41 states. So with upbeat economic data putting COVID-19 cases on the back seat, the US 10-year closed at 0.88 and 30-year closed at 1.65. In the crude oil market, with rising COVID-19 cases across geographies, crude inventory buildup is increasing and that is taking a toll on the crude oil. Major fall in the crude oil prices was seen and crude is now trading at $36.85 per barrel. For very short term traders, we recommend a buy on crude at $37 per barrel for quick gain keeping an eye on coronavirus cases before across the globe. Hence, crude's short-term range is seen at $37 to $40 per barrel. In the currency market, on Thursday itself, we informed you about the dollar bull run for short-term and that turned out to be true. Dollar has breached 93.90 resistance level as well and dollar index is now 94.08. DXY range for today is at 93.73 to 94.20. USD INR on a Thursday with a high of 74.38 closed at 73.35. USD INR range for today is 74.45 to 74.75. USD INR has closed above 74.10 and is about to confirm a bullish breakout. Please note that the dollar will come under pressure later when new president, whoever he is, announces the fiscal stimulus. So our night research team is now taking a contrarian view and advising our clients to short USD INR soon. Be ready with that position. Please note that do not jump to short the USD INR immediately, but from a risk return perspective, we see a case for USD INR shorts if the USD INR is around 7470. We will update our currency clients for the position as and when the conditions for shorts emerge. In the domestic market, on account of ETH, Friday was a trading holiday in bond markets. Hence, we had both auctions and OMOs on Thursday itself. Let's do the analysis for both. 29th October 2020 OMO analysis 772 GS 2025 cutoff at 527 679 GS 2029 cutoff was at 605 in short RBI accepted a total of 20,000 crore in OMOs across 2025 27 29 and 32 maturities RBI accepting full rupees 20,000 crore in OMO was a good outcome and market anticipates market anticipates such more weekly OMOs which is to be seen. 29th October 2020 GSEC auction analysis. So if we talk about that, new GS2035 paper auction cutoff was seen at 622. This cutoff was higher than anticipation and that ruined the market mood. For new GS2035, the coupon 622 was three basis points higher than the anticipation and 2034 was the most hit bond. This higher cutoff was the sole reason which made 577 GS2030 to close at 588 from Wednesday's 586. Today, the markets will be range bound with no material market moving information hitting the market. Please make use of our intraday trading ranges for trading today.